This method can help answer key questions in the environmental fields, such as whether a particular land-based activity will result in greater surface water or groundwater contamination. The main advantage of this technique is that it prevents us from overestimating the rate of water movement through soil as a result of what we call wall flow. After I demonstrate the field work at the drill rig, Melissa Miller, a grad student in our laboratory, will be demonstrating the lab activities. To collect soil samples, first put on hard hat, gloves, and protective goggles prior to starting the drill rig. Power up the drill rig and lower the rotary head sufficiently to allow the installation of the Kelly bar. The Kelly bar is the metal rod that connects the drive head of the drill rig to the sampler. Insert the Kelly bar into the rotary head. Insert a plastic liner sample tube into the metal sample tube with a cutting head attached to the bottom of the metal sample tube. For the application described here, use a 150 mm long plastic liner with a 90 mm outside diameter fitted into a 200 mm long metal sample tube with a 100 mm outside diameter and 90 mm inside diameter. Attach the metal sample tube to the Kelly bar using a drive head fitted to both. Operate the drill rig to move the sample tube approximately 150 mm into the soil. Remove the metal sample tube from the soil using the hydraulic system of the drill rig. Now, remove the metal sample tube from the drive head. Remove the plastic sample tube holding the soil sample from the metal sample tube. Take care not to lose soil from inside the plastic sample tube and not to compact the soil or squeeze the sides of the plastic sample tube.